Last month, a tragic crash involving a school bus and cement truck killed a five year old child in Bastrop. After that crash, many viewers began asking if that bus had seat belts. As Ken's Five's Jeremy Baker reports, the law can get a little fuzzy when it comes to kids, school buses, and seat belts. Tonight's Verify has been an off and on question of mine since I was a kid riding the school bus, and they didn't always have seat belts. That leads us to tonight's claim, submitted by Ken's Five viewer Ricardo Santini, who asked, does Texas state law state that if a school bus has seat belts, all students must wear a seat belt while riding the bus? Our sources for this Verify are Tessie Solis, the Director of Transportation for the Northside ISD, and the Texas Transportation Code. Solis says if the bus has belts, the students better be buckled in. Require a student riding a bus operated or con contract of operation by the district to wear a seatbelt if it's equipped with seatbelts. And then it says that we may implement disciplinary procedures for students that don't wear their seatbelt. Section 545.413 of the Texas Transportation Code states the driver of the bus is breaking the law if the driver operates a passenger vehicle that is equipped with safety belts and allows a child who is younger than 17 years of age and who is not required to be secured in a child passenger safety seat system under Section 545.412 to ride in the vehicle without requiring the child to be secured by a safety belt, provided the child is occupying a seat that is equipped with a safety belt. So yes, it is true. Texas state law states if a school bus has seat belts, all students must wear a seat belt while riding the bus. So Lee's also told us some drivers want the kids buckled in, but others say if there's an accident, a young child may have a hard time unbuckling themselves. For the Verify team, Jeremy Baker, Ken's Five.